welcome to lnp renewable system integrator so today we are going to discuss some of the basics of differential pressure switch okay so what are the things that we are going to discuss today so today at the end of the session we will find the answers for all these questions what is a differential pressure switch okay where can i see this okay where will we use these differential pressure switches how it looks like okay how a differential pressure switch is calibrated okay and how the differential pressure switch works and what are the things as a building management system engineer or building automation control engineer as a system integrator engineer i should know in the differential pressure switch so first let's try to know what is a differential pressure switch so differential pressure switch works on the basis of difference in pressure between the two points okay normally in a pressure switch we will create two points one will be one point we will connect on the low pressure side and the other point we will connect on the high pressure side and we will keep a set point if the pressure difference is greater than the set point immediately what will happen it will act as a switch normally it will be in the nc position same like a relay okay when uh, the actual pressure okay exceeds the set point pressure immediately what will happen the position of the switch which is already in the nc will change to no position so the one which is already in the no it will change to nc so this is how a normal uh, differential pressure switch basically works it will have a diaphragms inside it okay so the process pressure is being sensed by the diaphragm piston combination okay and uh, in order to connect these uh, uh, low points and the uh, high pressure points we will ha we have a uh, probes like this okay where can i use this so this differential pressure switch is mostly used in heat ventilation and air conditioning systems okay and most importantly it is used to monitor the filters air filters okay and also it is used to monitor the fan air flow and also fan belts we can able to monitor with the help of this differential pressure switches even in certain places we can use in kitchens okay and cleaning rooms also in order to monitor the pressure okay um, as we told earlier so this is how it will get installed in the filters and in the against the fans we can install this differential pressure switches and even the air handling units we can install this this is an example of air handling unit see here differential pressure switches are being installed here so how it looks like so there are so many designs so many varieties so many forms it is available so this is normally the basic form which is used in most most applications but even in other brands it is available greystone siemens schneider bomber danfoss like that so many brands are available so it is up to our requirement and in the pressure range we are choosing so most importantly if you are going for this normal type okay it will have a mounting brackets at the back back side and see here we have a two points that is p1 and p2 connection p1 will be for high pressure and p2 will be for low pressure okay and see here we have a set point knob with the help of a normal tester now we can able to twist it so the this is a, the functioning diagram see here so normally now it will be the one and two will be in the nc position whenever there is a pressure change occurs uh, based on the set point immediately changes its position to three so same like a switch you know normally it is in the nc position it is changing to no in the same way the one with the two terminals which is already in the no position it is getting changed to nc like a switch it is have working so this is how uh, we used to represent when it is used for filter monitoring plus and minus plus this positive side we will use for pressure upstreams and in the negative side we will use for pressure downstreams okay but in the same way if you are going to monitor any flow okay if you if you want to monitor the flow then for the positive side we will use for pressure downstream of the fan and in the negative side we will use for pressure upstreams okay or sometimes you know if you don't have a provision to do this uh, to connect this upstream we can connect this negative point open to the atmospheric pressure also okay so that it will make a comparison with the atmospheric pressure and our set point and if there is a much difference if it is greater than the set point immediately it will raise it will close the contact from no to nc so this is the connecting terminals as we told earlier one and two normally we in the closed position which is being always used for low pressure so in most of the cases we used to monitor the high pressure points 
so when there is a high pressure occurring okay uh, if it is greater than the set point immediately what will happen this contact na the 1 and 2 contact this contact will change from 2 to 3 immediately it will get a continuity see how we can calibrate this differential pressure say for example if you want to okay uh, check whether your differential pressure switch is working based on the set point pressure that you have given say for example we have a set point of 80 pascals or 100 pascal okay let us connect this pressure gauge with our pneumatic calibrated device okay now and also you know we have a contacts 1 2 3 terminals we have na so we have, we need to connect this 1 and 3 okay we have to connect uh, this multimeter terminals with the 1 and 3 terminals and we need to keep uh, this multimeter in the continuity mode okay so now what we need to with the help of this pneumatic calibrator we need to give the required pressure say for example now we are changing the pressure value from 10 pascal 20 pascal like that now gradually we need to give the pressure uh, air pressure to this high pressure probe so what will happen when it reaches 100 or above the 100 what will happen immediately uh, the position of that switch will change from 1 to 2 to 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 will be in the continuity and we will give the continuity sound similar case if you want to check the low pressure also you know if you are doing for a low pressure set point so keep that low pressure set point here by changing this knob and try to give that particular low pressure to this point and check the continuity in the 1 and 2 normally it will in the nc immediately because of this low pressure what will happen when the low pressure points occurs what will happen it changes its position from 1 to 2 to 23 so the one which is already in the nc will get a no contact this is how it will works see here same like a switching operation okay so when the when it achieves a set point immediately it will change its position from no to nc if you go if you are going for a pressure switch uh, for the low pressure measurements normally it will in the nc when the pressure occurs it will change to no so how it works okay now let us consider we had installed a, a differential pressure switch across a fan okay now our differential pressure set point is 100 pascals okay so as we told earlier okay so the minus point normally we will used to connect before the fan and the plus point we will connect after the fan consider now the fan is not running so what is happening now the pressure on the minus side as well as the positive side both is 80 pascals so 80 minus 80 0 pascal there is no much change so the differential pressure switch won't operate now consider we had switched on the fan now the fan is running with a small speed so the air is getting inside now there is a pressure change is happening on the minus side negative side that is before the fan we have a 40 pascal pressure on the other end okay we are on the positive side we have a 100 pascal 100 minus 40 it is just 60 pascal it is still less than the uh, set point of 100 pascal okay so still it will be in the common and the nc position now what is happening now we are increasing the speed of the fan so what is happening the pressure difference is happening on the negative side the pascal went through minus 30 on the positive side the pressure is exceeding that is 150 pascals so now consider what uh, the, try to find out the pressure difference it is 180 pascal that is it is more than the pressure set point that is 100 pascal immediately what will happen see the switch position which is common and the nc is changed to no contact so this is how a basic differential pressure switch works when it is installed across the fans now consider we had installed across the filters what will happen if you install across the filters see here in the same method we are going to find out so we are going to connect the positive side on 80 pascal that is before the filter and after the filter side we are connecting the negative see here there is a big difference between these two okay for the fans negative side we are connecting before and the positive side we are connecting after the fans in case of filters a positive side we are connecting before and the negative side we are connecting after the filters now see we are, now the fan is off so the differential pressure we are at the positive and negative side is still same so there won't be any much differences so the switch won't operate so now what is happening we are making the fan on okay now it is uh, you know we are getting the pressure range on before the filter that is on the positive side we are having a pressure of 105 pascal and on the negative side we are having a pressure of 100 pascal if you find out the difference it is just 5 pascal which is less than the set point okay now what is happening along with the air some of the dirty particles that is dust particles are coming and it is getting settled over these filters 
now this is the starting phase so what is happening now the pressure on the positive side is 180 pascal whereas on the negative side is 90 pascal if you find out the difference it is just 90 pascal so still it is under the range now you know along with the air so many dirty particles have got, in, uh, got settled now see here the color of the filter got changed normally it will be in the green color now it is changing to dirty color that is the black color because of the settlement of this dirty particle now on the positive side the pressure is 220 pascals whereas on the negative side it is 90 pascal if you try to get the difference between the uh, positive and the negative side we are having only 130 which is greater than the set point so now it is time for the pressure switch to act and so it will change its position that is common and nc position immediately it will change its position to common and no position that is the switch is operating so this is how a switch operates when it is installed across the filters and this is normal uh, pressure transducer same like a switch it will act sometimes see here when there is no flow in it won't operate when there is a flow it is changing its position from no to nc like a switch it will work similarly uh, similar case in case of uh, if you are connecting our terminals in the normally open context or if you are going for a normally closed conduit, you will be in the closed position when there is a pressure it will change its position from nc to no so as we told here how it is installed on the air handling units so this is our air handling unit see this is the supply side this is the return side exhaust side and this is a recirculation side so see here we had uh, we can install the filters across these entrance okay these are the filters two filters we are having so we can install our differential pressure switch across these filters okay if required if you want to in install on the fans also we can install okay and uh, in differential pressure switch as we told earlier based on our application based on our the pressure set point range we can choose the differential pressure switches so this is a schematic okay uh, graphics of how it is installed in the air handling units as we told earlier see here we have a panel filter back filter we had installed the differential pressure switches these are in the healthy ranges and also we had installed the uh, across the fans to check the normal flow both on the supply side as well as on the exhaust side we had installed okay, so as we know earlier in the air handling units we got different types so even though how many types are there based on the number of fans we need to install this is a double supply double extractor even in the single supply double extractor type also we can install these fans and for the double supply single extractor also we can install and if you have a single supply and single extract there also we can install the different pressure switches so as we saw earlier if you're going for a monitoring point of view it is a digital input signal see on the supply fan side we have a different pressure switch which is a digital input we can consider that as an alarm okay it is a volt free contact same on the extract fan side also we have a differential pressure switch it is a digital input we can consider that as an alarm which is a volt free contact thank you so much please subscribe and press the bell icon if you want to know more and learn more please contact us we have provided the contact details in it um, so we are providing design installation testing and commissioning support for uh, industrial automation home automation building automation if you want to do any set of uh, programming support training supports for the plc programming we are providing and if you want to know the basics of heat ventilation air conditioning system and what are the basics that we need to know regarding this building management system you can contact us we had provided the contact details in it uh, and also we are providing uh, design installation testing and commissioning consultancy training supports for solar on grid off grid and hybrid applications so we had provided the contact details in it thank you so much